I'm going to look at modifying the Plastic Soldier Company's M60A3 plastic kit into an Israeli Magak 6. Magak refers to M48 and M60 series tanks in Israeli service. These tanks were often modified and upgraded to suit Middle East conditions and improve performance. The Plastic Soldier Company's kit is termed an M60A3, but it actually has a mix of A1 and A3 model features. Built in its standard out-of-the-box form, it's an M60A1, as long as you leave the smoke discharges off. The spoked road wheels and lack of a thermal sleeve on the main gun are more akin to an A1. Built in this form, it is a Magak 6, an essentially unmodified M60 with the M68 105mm gun and a Commander's 50 caliber MG mounted in a small turret. This version would be okay to use in the 1973 Yom Kippur War in something like Fate of a Nation. However, I plan to use some leftover components from the Battlefront M60 plastic kits to do some upgrades. If you know someone who's built M60s for US forces, they'll have some spare Israeli parts you can use for this modification. Here are the parts you might use. The first is the lower profile Erdan coupler used instead of the commander's turret. This was simpler to use and reduced the overall height of the M60. The 50 caliber commander's machine gun was often replaced with the lighter 30 caliber gun on a simple mount. This part is available from the battlefront kit. A 50 caliber gun was fitted in a fixed position above the main gun, firing by solenoid from the fighting compartment. This was used by the gunner to suppress AT missile teams, one of the lessons learned after the 1973 war. This part with the mount fitted is shown here. I'm going to replace the more slender main gun on the PSC kit with the unsleeved 105mm gun from the Battlefront kit. Again, if the donor kit was built as the M60A3, this part should be available as a spare. Lastly is the large white light and IR searchlight. If you're not fitting the overbarrel 50 caliber gun, you can mount this. Obviously, shining a million candle power light on the battlefield at night can make you a bit of a target, but at least you can see to shoot at the enemy. Searchlights were replaced by passive night vision systems as they became available. Modify the PSC kit by drilling out the hole in the mantlet for the bigger gun barrel. I just twirled a hobby knife in the existing hole a few times until the battlefront part fitted in. The opening for the commander's coupler on the PSC turret is too small for the BF coupler. I fitted the closed couplers by trimming off the bottom of the coupler and gluing it straight onto the turret roof. The open coupler needed a bit more work. I used a 9mm drill bit and drilled the existing hole in the turret out by hand. The new coupler fitted in fine. Many of the Erdan coupler upgraded Magak 6s also eventually received Blazer ERA armour, and if you were more enterprising than me you could scratch build this from sheet styrene. There was also a large rectangular bank of smoke grenade launchers by the main gun. Again, you could scratch build this if you wanted to. I'm sticking with the simple upgrades and I'm pretty happy with how these have turned out. This is also a good way to use my PSC M60s, which weren't really representative of M60A3s for Team Yankee. They still have the massively overscale turret grab rails, but I'm prepared to live with those. Let's look at some history. In the 1960s and 70s, Israel purchased surplus M48 tanks from US and German stocks. Several dozen Jordanian M48s captured in 1967 were also added to the Israeli tank forces. Initially, the M48s were used in their original configuration, but after 1967 they were upgraded to Magak 3 specifications. This replaced the 90mm gun with the L7 105mm weapon, fitted a low profile commander's coupler, and a more powerful diesel engine. About 540 M48s and M60s were in service in 1973 at the outbreak of the war. This figure had dropped to about 200 by the end of the conflict. Many of these tanks fell victim to 9M14 Malyutka anti-tank missiles. The US supplied some replacement M60s during the war, flying them direct to Israel. Lessons from the Yom Kippur War resulted in closer cooperation with infantry to deal with anti-tank missiles. Tanks were modified by mounting heavy caliber machine guns above the main armament to provide suppression and put gunners off their aim. The M60 turret hydraulics were identified as an issue modified after it was found the fluid could catch fire when the tank was hit. M60s were modified to Magak 6 with new couplers, smoke discharges and explosive reactive armour panels. 
Mugak 7s added thermal sleeves on the main gun, and new angular armour upgrades which significantly changed the profile of the turret. Mugak has been replaced in regular service by the indigenously designed Merkava main battle tank, but continue to serve with reserve formations. Anyway, that's my M60 Israeli Magak upgrade for the PSC M60 plastic kit. This has been a fun little project to make use of some scrounge leftovers from Battlefront M60 kits. Now I need to paint them to get my Israeli Magak tank company on the table. Let me know if you try this modification, or if you have any other ideas to modify M60s.